Hi everyone, this is Robin from Desert Moon Bath and Body and I have all my oils and colors mixed to make um, the reverse peacock swirl. It's the same as the peacock swirl except for it's in reverse. You just turn your mold around and pull the colors through the opposite direction. So here we go. try pouring right from the containers. It's a little faster, but I think a little more uh, hard to get your lines nice and thin. I used cold lye and cool oils to try to reduce the time for trace. So we'll see how I do. hard time with this. I usually do the squeeze bottles, but man, that takes forever. Steady flow going here. thicken up you just mix it up and boy it <coughs> excuse me <coughs> it thins right back up So I'm going to just go back and forth here, pause the video, and then I'll be right back. Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, took me a little longer than I thought to actually pour that um, out of the jugs. It was almost as long as uh, pouring it out of the squeeze bottles, but that's okay. Um, I got a little side heavy over here, I think. Okay, now, I hope you can see that. Sounds like my husband just drove up. I can hear his hearty a block away. 
So I have my handy little comb that I made um, to pull it through. I took some of the teeth out because I'm going to go in the opposite way this time before I went this way. This time I'm going to try going this way and see how it works. So here we go. Straight in. Tilt it just a little bit. And then start pulling. So far so good. Bring it up a little bit. Okay, now I'm just going to rinse this off a little bit because I didn't reuse it. I was going to use a chopstick, but I, I don't know. I'm almost done here. I think I'm going to use a skewer. It's not quite as fat. Okay, now this is normally, this is the bouquet peacock swirl and you would start doing your S pattern through here, but I'm going to try turning it around. This way and try it. Making the S's quite tight. Wipe your stick off in between. Okay, so this time I, I went an S. Now I'm going to mirror it. And you got to try to remember where you went in, which is hard. Let's see, it looks like I did there, so this time I'm going to do about right there. Out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. To me, that's a little easier to keep when you say it to yourself like that. You can keep track a little easier what you did. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
just pull this one in a little bit. Okay, everybody, there's the reverse peacock swirl. It's just, I think it's going to be really pretty. I need to give it a tapping. I don't want to. Can y'all see that? I'm going to zoom in just a little. Hopefully I won't make you dizzy. This bullseye swirl I used with a little bit that was left over. Um, you can start in the middle and pull out and then just kind of do it this way. I'm going to try doing like maybe a start in the middle and go around. Try something a little different. Wonder how it would look if we pulled it in. It's kind of cool in the center, doesn't it? Probably shouldn't have done that. leave it alone, huh? But that's just, you know, you just make a bullseye, keep pouring, and those are the kinds of things you can do with when your uh, batch stays thin like this. It's kind of neat. I made one like this yesterday in the big mold, and it turned out really pretty. It looks like a spider web. Okay, everybody, I'm going to get a picture of that like it is, and then I'm going to put the dividers in, put it to bed using this cold lye and cool oils. It doesn't gel. The colors, um, even though it doesn't gel, stay really pretty. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll be back to show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Have a good day. <laughs>